This week, AMD unveils its new 14 nanometer Polaris architecture, Oculus Rift goes up for pre-order, and Nvidia gets in on the virtual reality action and more. I'm David Wolf of Tech Power of News. While we were at home eating potato chips and watching cat videos on YouTube, AMD showed off a glimpse of its revolutionary new Polaris GPU architecture, bringing with it a good deal of a tasty architectural improvements, like high dynamic range monitor support and industry leading performance per watt. Polaris will also feature AMD's fourth generation of Graphics Core Next, their next generation display engine that will bring with it HDMI 2.0A and DisplayPort 1.3 support, as well as 4K H.265 encoding and decoding. AMD hopes to start shipping Polaris-based cards in the middle of 2016. It'd be nice to see these products totally kill NVIDIA's this time around. Well, don't get me wrong, I really like my NVIDIA cards, but I also like rooting for the underdog, and NVIDIA really needs the competition. This week has been especially virtual reality heavy. Oculus, manufacturer of the popular Rift VR HMD, has opened up pre-orders for the Rift CV1 HMD. With it will come Bundled Lucky's Tale and Eve Valkyrie, both games built around virtual reality, so you'll have something to demo the headset on right away when you get it. The device comes priced at $599 American dollars, which I've heard some grumbling about, but to be honest, this is kind of to be expected of new tech, especially done this well. And I also think it's not that bad of a price for what it is. Mind you, this is aimed at people with fairly powerful systems, so it's kind of a premium thing. I'd love to buy one at some point in the future. It should make my Sudoku games a little more interesting. NVIDIA has uncovered a virtual reality products program, partnering with system manufacturers and add-in card makers to deliver GeForce GTX VR-ready systems and GPUs, all up to snuff for an amazing virtual time, with products in the program being labeled with a placard. A good virtual reality experience needs 7 times as much GPU power than playing 3D games traditionally, needing 90 frames per second between two, two separate images split between both eyes. That's a crap ton of horsepower just to ensure it's not totally nauseating. Nvidia's goal with this program is to make it easy to pick out components for those interested in virtual reality. Just spot the placard and you're golden. Supposedly. Now, I don't normally friggin' talk about video cards that have been out for several months, but this GTX 980 Ti by EVGA has something special up its sleeve, rather, in its box. The new EVGA GeForce GTX 980 Ti VR Edition comes prepped for head-mounted display virtual reality headsets, coming packaged with a 3.5-slash-5.25-inch front panel to mount on the front of your PC, so where else are you going to put it? Then it has a built-in HDMI 2.0 port and USB 3.0 slash 3.1 ports, so you can plug in your virtual reality headset without the need for climbing under your desk. This product is EVGA's first VR-ready graphics card, and it is a part of NVIDIA's GeForce GTX VR-ready program. Now, please, no more virtual reality stuff, guys. I need a break. That's all the news I have for this week, but there's more every week, so stick around. And you'll get more of this guy. Also, make sure to check out our website and you'll find lots of great articles on stuff I talked about today and other stuff, like Razer launches the ultimate Ultrabook, ViewSonic launches new series of high-performance gaming monitors, NVIDIA announces Drive, PX2, Mobile Supercomputer, and more. I understand that with just a few minutes of news and beardies, you won't get all the info that you need, or you might have a question. Why don't you head on over to our forums and ask us that question? There's plenty of helpful people around to help you out. Did you watch this video and think, hey, I wanted game news? If I got the channel for you, check out our sister channel, Next Power Up. They got awesome game reviews and weekly gaming news. Clicky clicky.